Hello, my cookies. Welcome. Welcome to Russell Cooks. Thanks so much for tuning in. It's the holiday season and there's some traditional drinks out there. I don't necessarily care for them completely, but do I not like them because I'm only drinking the store bought and I'm not making my own? Or do I really not like them? Today, I have mulled red wine. This is also known as glug. Now, this is a very traditional you kind of spruce up the not so great tasting red wine. This again, it's a little bit more work. It's so much easier to go to the store and buy it, but I tell you, it's worth it. First things first, let's gather our ingredients. We need a bottle of red wine or two. Again, you can scale this recipe easily. I have something big and bold here, a Cabernet Sauvignon. It's got a lot more kind of beef and flavor to it, if you will, than like a Pinot or whatnot. It doesn't have to be fancy. It doesn't have to be expensive. It can be boxed doesn't matter. You are going to make it taste good with your add-ins. You're also going to need cinnamon sticks, allspice. I prefer the whole berries, but if you can't find it, like I can't, ground is fine. I'm just going to use a little bit. Cloves, very traditional. Peppercorns, also very traditional. I'm going to be using a little bit of this black Urfa chili in place of my peppercorns, just to give it a little bit extra, a little oomph, a little if you will, and just take it up a notch. You're also going to need a little bit of brandy. Now that is traditional if you don't have brandy. I love a good bourbon or strong whiskey, whatever you want. You're also gonna need an orange or two and some sugar, granulated sugar. All right, now that we have our ingredients, let's get started. So I got a big heavy bottom pot here. Again, you can double this recipe. Do what you want. Probably don't need a, as big a pot if I'm only doing one bottle, but I'm gonna toast two cinnamon sticks and five cloves, just over kind of medium low heat, just to get them fragrant. It's gonna take about a minute. While that's going, I'll open this wine here. Also, while that's toasting, I'm gonna take my orange and I'm gonna grab maybe two, three strips, no white pith with a peeler here. Look at this, it's no white pith. That's perfect. The white pith, that will make this bitter. I don't want that. All right, we're starting to get a little fragrance here from the cinnamon and the clove. Whoo-wee. Maybe another 30 more seconds here. All right, yeah. Very fragrant, nicely toasted. We're gonna add the red wine now, medium heat. Now I'm going to add my allspice and my urfa chili. I'm gonna do maybe an eighth a teaspoon of allspice. This can get pretty potent, so be careful and probably about the same for the Urfa chili. Also, let's add in our orange zest and I'm gonna add about a quarter cup of sugar. All right, let's bring this to a simmer over medium heat. I'm gonna partially cover it, drop it down to as low as it'll go and I'm gonna simmer it for 45 minutes, 60 minutes. Any longer and the wine's gonna start deteriorating. You just really wanna infuse it with all these fantastic flavors. Now for serving, I love to serve it with a little bit of orange. So I'm just gonna do some orange slices here, preferably from the center. By the way, when did oranges start having belly buttons? I don't remember that when I was a kid. Also gonna save some cinnamon sticks for serving as well. Kind of kitschy, little Martha Stewarty. That's okay. Now we just play the waiting game. I hate waiting. All right, so it's been a, about 45 minutes for my mulled wine. Everything is infused. It has steeped together. Now we need to get rid of all those mix-ins. So what I have is a fine mesh strainer set in my serving bowl. So what I'm gonna do is take this off the heat. I'm just gonna put it through the strainer. Okay, getting all that stuff out. Fantastic. It smells amazing. Mm. The cinnamon's coming through. The clove, fantastic. Now that we have this ready, we need to stir in a little bit more booze. Because what did we do? We cooked the wine. We burned off some of the alcohol. So if you still want it to hit, you got to pour a little bit of whiskey in here. I'm going to start with one tablespoon. You can increase it if you want, but essentially do it to your taste. Also, sugar to taste here. So if you taste it and it's sweet enough, great, leave it alone. Otherwise, add a couple teaspoons at a time of sugar and get it to a place where you think it's a little bit better, a little bit more palatable. Let me give it a taste. Mm. 
Mm, mm, yes. I personally think it's plenty sweet. I'm going to leave it as is. Remember, you want to serve this warm. You don't want it simmering too long. You want to serve it warm. So cover this and uh, serve it immediately when you've finished. And then, of course, get your fancy little glasses here and serve it up. And of course, don't forget to garnish with a cinnamon stick and some orange slices here. All right, let's give it a real taste here. It's nice and warm. Ooh, it's going to go down easy. Mmm. It's warmth on a cold day. That's the only way I can describe it. it comes through, you get the orangey-ness. That's right on the front end. It's on the tip of the palate. Kind of coats everything. And then the wine flavors. A little bit of clove and allspice. And that Urfa chilies. It's barely there. But it adds so much depth to this. And so much warmth. It's, it's fantastic. And then at the end, you get the heat from the alcohol. And it just kind of like... Pff, and then you want another sip. Mmm. I see myself sipping this while wearing a Christmas sweater. Laughing. <laughs> Being merry. And then after I finish one or two of these, I've got the confidence to sing some Christmas carols. This is fantastic. I love wine. So I'm always like, why do I want to put this stuff in wine? Why put orange and clove? Someone spent a lot of time growing these grapes and making the wine to taste really nice. It's different. I can drink wine. That's not a hot drink. This is like a hot toddy, but with wine. It's just really good. Thanks so much for tuning in. I really appreciate it. I hope you like what you saw. And if you did, don't forget to check me out on YouTube and Twitch. I'm also on Twitter, Instagram, and TikTok. Thanks so much for tuning in. I'll see you next time. Take care.